Hello everybody, this is Godzilla here, and I'm back with another reaction. So in today's video, we're going to be watching Five Nights at Goji's 3 FNAF 3 parody by Daikaiju Legends. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Well, let's get this over. Let's get this over with, shall we? Oh, I should know that this is a long video, so... I'm not going to make that much commentary, so let's get to it. That's an awesome intro. Warning this vehicle getting loud noises, flashing lights, and jump scares. Yeah, I've seen what, I've seen what Finance of Freddy's is. They're always known for jump scares. Okay, so we're starting on the first night. We have a phone call. Hey, hey, glad you came back for another night. So I'm guessing I this is Dai Kaiju Legends versus the phone guy. We found some great new relics over the weekend, and we're tracking down a new lead right now. So, uh, let me just update you real quick, and then you can get to work, alright? Like, the attraction opens in, like, a week. So we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building, and work their way towards you, past you, and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you uh, officially become part of the attraction. Uh, I don't know who Stormcat is, I don't know the security guard. So it not only will you be monitoring so. people on camera as they pass through, you know, to I make sure really no one steals anything or makes out the, the corner, Godzilla community. but you'll also be part of the Godzilla show. Community. It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always nice, and a Gigant head, which we think may be authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay from G-Fest. Oh, this guy gets in. And we found some of those old miniature buildings. You know, the ones that the monsters would fall into. Now, the place right now is just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. Uh, I honestly thought we'd have more by now. But if we uh, don't have something really cool by next week, <laughs> we may have to dress you up in an old monster costume and have you run around roaring at people. <laughs> uh, but, you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a new lead right now. Someone who helped design some of the old buildings and make some of the rubber suits. Oh, I see so that there was an extra room that got boarded up or something All like that. So we're going to take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Uh, you can check the security cameras on your oh, right see that? with a click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cams. And uh, over on the far left, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems when they go offline. <laughs> In trying to make this place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. Yeah, I uh, wasn't joking about the fire. That, that's a real risk. Oh, uh, the most important thing you want to watch out for is the ventilation. Oh yeah, you Look, this place will give you the spooks, the man. Every, and if you uh, let that ventilation night, go offline, you'll be seeing some crazy things, things man. Don't like keep that air flowing. It. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. Ah, we made it through the first night. Like everybody keeps saying, on the first night of every FNAF game, it's always have to be so easy. Because nothing, nothing's jump scaring you or anything like that. You just check the stuff out. You just check the controls, all the features that it has to help you like get through the night. Get through the nights, yeah. So we're playing as Godzilla in this little meaty game here. Air. Why does it say air? Why can't we go up there? Oh, that's the green guy. That's gonna be the purple guy, but no, it's the green guy apparently. 
don't know who's actually the green guy, honestly. Like, I don't even know who's actually playing the green guy. My voice actor... Hey man, I'm okay. I have some awesome news. this video, First of all, we found some vintage audio some of the training that sets. Two of these are like prehistoric. And it's also inside, uh, I think they're like training teams uh, for like other suit. employees yeah, or no, something it is like that. Yet. So I think we'll have them playing over the speakers, like when people walk through the attraction. Dude, it'll make this feel legit. But I have an even bigger surprise for you, dude. You're not gonna believe this. We found one. A real one. Uh, the, oh, uh, I gotta go, man. Real, uh, well, it's, it's in there somewhere. Uh, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you some of this great audio I found. Talk to you later, man. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Uh, welcome to your new career as performer slash entertainer for Goji Godzuki's Pizza. Uh, these tapes will provide you with much needed information on how to handle slash climb into slash climb out of monster rubber suits. Right now we have one new special lead to rubber suit to promote the new movie's release that doubles as both an animatronic and rubber suit. So please pay close attention while learning how to operate this suit, as accidents slash injuries slash death Slash reparable and grotesque maiming can occur. First, we'll discuss how to operate the monster when in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn and walk towards sound. I don't know who that is. This is an easy, hands-free approach to ensure the monsters stay where the children lit. are and provide maximum entertainment slash crowd pleasing value. To change the animatronic stands? to suit mode, unzip the back stands? plates and firmly turn the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic parts around the side the of the suit, providing room to climb inside. Please make sure the spring lock is secured tight so the animatronic parts the remain fixed. Gone. We'll cover this more in detail in tomorrow's session. It. So remember to let out your biggest roar. You're the voice of Goji Godzuki's Pizza. Oh wait, is that? Wait, that's Zilla. So Zilla is Springtrap. Oh, I get it now. Yep, that actually is Zilla as Springtrap. So they say that's Roland Emmerich is Zilla Trap or Spring Zilla. Just two words. Oh God, what is that? Oh God. Thanks, Manila. Thank you for that jump scare. That's that's so that was Phantom Manila. I'm just gonna call them Phantom whatever their name is throughout this video. And there we go, we made it to the second now. Easy. Except for that Phantom Manila jump scare that we got. Static, static tra transition. Oh, so I'm guessing this is Super Mecha Godzilla. I think so. Oh, great! There's my, there's my corpse, all broken to pieces. And my me mechanical doppelganger just got dismembered by. Roland Emmerich slash the green guy. Could be another one. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, for today's lesson, we will be continuing our training on proper suit handling techniques. Yep, when I can using see the Godzilla you, I can suit, see please make there. sure the mechanical wiring and animatronic piece. parts are tightly compressed and fastened by the spring lock located near the base of the tail. It may take a few moments to position your head in a comfortable manner in between oh, the endoskeleton's that mouth wiring there, where you can that's move the and create authentic not, not roars. Exactly. Try not to nudge well, yeah, or press against any of the spring you, locks there. inside the suit. Do not touch right the there. spring locks at any time. Do not breathe on the, right on the spring locks as moisture right may corner. loosen them. It causes them to break no, on the right side of the In camera. case the spring lock comes loose while wearing the suit, have another monster fake a fatal blow and try to move away from populated areas before bleeding out as to not ruin the customer experience. As always, if there is an emergency, please go to the designated safe room. Every well, we location is filled that, with one Mr. extra room that is not included on the digital move. map layout or the animatronic or security system place. programs. This room is hidden to customers and visible to animatronics and always off camera. 
As always, remember to let out your biggest oh, roar. Yeah, You're the voice right of Goji there. Godzuki's Pizza. And then he disappears. Oh, who's that? Wait, who is that? I can't tell who that is. <laughs> yeah, that's Phantom Mango making that sound. I don't know what kind of exactly playing Phantom Mango. I couldn't tell what it was. Oh yeah, I see your spines. So I can see, I can see your spines clearly. Look, there he is. I can see him. The ventilation here is on again. Ah, there's me. There's me in my phantom Heisei form. Phantom you see me, you better stop that. Oh, I saw you, Zilla. Or Springzilla. I'm gonna call him Springzilla at this point. Saying Zilla Trap just sounds way better than just saying Springzilla. Because sometimes many people might actually like combine those two words together. I'm just gonna come to Zilla Trap. Oh no. Oh no, Zilla! Oh, we finally made it through the night, finally. Wow, I just hit my hand. I just hit my hand under the table. Jesus. I'm guessing this is Gabra, everyone's least favorite monster, kaiju monster of all time. Most because of his design and roar. Sounds as bad as Titanosaurus's. Rolling Emmerich. Rolling Emmerich finally dismembered Gabra. Thank God he did that because I, because I really hated him. What was like a possible amount of regret if I went to this place? As the security guard. Yeah, I can see that all the drawings are changed to. Uh, Godzilla. hello, to hello, hello. Uh, there's been a slight change in company policy concerning use of the new suit. Um, don't. After learning of an unfortunate incident at the sister location involving multiple and simultaneous springlock failures, the company has deemed the new suits temporarily unfit for employees. Safety is top priority at Goji Gutsuki's Pizza, and due to poor reception of the recent movie, yeah, the new Godzilla right. suit will be permanently inside. retired to an appropriate location okay, while being looked at by our technicians. Until new suits are designed, you will be expected to wear the temporary rubber sheets provided to you. Keep in mind, these again? were found on extremely short notice and were graciously <laughs> provided by Super Aya. So questions about appropriateness slash relevance in the Godzilla universe should be deflected. I repeat, the 1998 Godzilla suit is not to be touched, activated, <laughs> worn, or brought out in public. That being said, we are free of liability, oh, so do as you wish. As always, remember to let out your biggest roar. You're the uh, voice of Goji Godzuki's pizza. Arcade game machine screen there. Oh yeah, I can see him r right over all the way at the deep inside the hallway. <laughs> Thank you, Phantom Gabra. Your roar sounds very lovely. That's sarcasm you did. You didn't catch that. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I wish this was a real game and not just like a fan-made parody game. Is that him right there? That's him like right there on top of the screen. That's Phantom Gigan. Jesus, Gigan. You really startled me. Oh, hi, Zilla Trap. Is that the Trend Master? Is that the Trend Master's 1998 Godzilla? 
<laughs> oh yeah, I saw him run. But I kind of like the way he ran there. <laughs> How many minutes do we have? 14 minutes? Ah. Oh. Seven more minutes. Finally. I just really don't like those long static transitions. The mini game static transitions. They just take way too long to like to even process. Well, Gigan is making his way to where all of us got dismembered. What happens if we go down there? Ah, Roland Emmerich, stop dismembering us. I'm gonna blast you with my power of red. This to my friends and enemies. Even though I hate my enemies. Hello? Hello? Uh, this is just a reminder of company policy concerning the safe room. Safe room is reserved for equipment and or other property not being currently used and as a backup safety location for other employees only. This is not a break room. It should not be considered a location for employees to hide and or congregate and under no circumstances should a customer ever be taken into this room and out of the main show area. Yeah, Management has also been made aware that. that the Godzilla 1998 Springlock suit has been noticeably moved. I would like to remind the employees that this rubber suit should not be worn and must never be brought out in public under any circumstances. Thank you, and be sure to let out your biggest roar. You're the voice of Goji Godzuki's Pizza. Well, that was fast. You actually ended that really quickly. Right there. Wait, who's that? What? Jet Jack? Oh, Jet Jack was the puppet. So in this game, it's Phantom Jet Jaguar. That's the puppet, the Phantom puppet. Missy just blocks your view and makes you hallucinate. He appears right in your face and makes you hallucinate even more. No! Zilla trap! No! We need like two hours left! Oh no, don't- No, why would you- Oh no. Okay, that didn't even scare me at all. It didn't even. Zilla can do way better than that. That was me a spring trap. I would easily have done it way better. Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, this is just to inform all employees that due to budget restrictions, the previously mentioned safe rooms are being sealed at most locations, including this one. Work crews will be here most of the day today, constructing a false wall over the old door frame. Nothing is being taken out beforehand, so if you left anything in there, it's your fault. Management <laughs> also requests that <laughs> no, this room not be mentioned to family, friends, or insurance like representatives. Thanks again. Be sure to let out your biggest roar. You're the voice of Goji Gatsuki's Pizza. And there's Zilla. Oh no, he's going through the vents. Don no, David, we should have sealed it. We should have sealed it before we uh, fix the camera system. just died. Great. We just died. We just died the sixth night. Wait, is there like a seventh night? Actually, don't know for sure. 
I just know a lot of FNAF lore and the fandom. Oh, we're in this section. So we're playing as the ghost and we're trying to get Roland. And we're trying to scare Roland Emmerich. AKA the green guy. Uh, Roland Emmerich, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Yep. Just, just like everyone keeps telling you, those include spring locks. This is why you never so dumb. The end. Is that it? Was there more to it? Oh, thanks for watching. Yeah, I really enjoyed this, but really wish this was a real game. That way, every Godzilla fan would actually play it and get a good feel to it. And there you have it. There it is. That was Finance at Goji's 3 FNAF 3 parody by Daikaiju Legends. So, what did I think of this video? It was really good, to be honest. But I really wished it was an actual game, so that way every Godzilla fan can play it and get their reactions about it and the reviews. Even I should play it. I've heard there's like a FNAF Godzilla. No, like a. Finance of Goji's 4 teasers, 1 and 2, but also made by Daikaiju Legends. But that was made like a 6 years ago. And apparently it wasn't even, still wasn't even made. That's because, I think that was because he stopped working on it because he didn't feel like working on it. You think that's like too old. And also I think it was because he was too lazy to even like get all the animations, all the, all the stop motion and all that. And all the effects and all that jazz. Well, I'm going to stop yapping because I've recorded way too long. So, I'll see you guys in the next video.